Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy. Here's video into a brand new Grand Arena 3v3. This is round two of the last week of this 3v3 season. And as you can see, I did unfortunately lose first round. I made a couple of mistakes, um, even though I could have probably just won if I just wasn't taking counters that probably weren't as uh, good as I thought they were going to be. <laughs> but we live and we learn. And in today's round, my opponent is called Darth Demon and they are from the guild Maestros the Jedi and they have 12.2 million GP, so about 200k more than me, um, but very close other than that, really. It's not really much that separates us both in terms of our account sizes, but uh, this should be a good fight. So obviously we'll go over to the wheel and spin it to see what challenges we get given. So over onto the wheel, let's do a quick shuffle of it and a spin to get our first defense challenge, which is going to be... No Dark Side Galactic Legends allowed? Oh, that's very close. Okay, two or three Jedi teams. That's pretty manageable. I can do that fairly easily, I think. Uh, so let's hide the option. Go for a shuffle again. And go for our second spin. If we have to place JML, that works out pretty well with us, actually. Okay, that's that lines up perfectly. I have to place three Jedi teams and JML, so that's pretty good. Uh, for me at least right let's hide the well, you need to hide that actually we'll go over to the offense wheel obviously do a shovel here and a spin to get our first offense challenge oh no 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 i've got to use a carth old republic team well this is gonna suck i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna find a team in kyber one to beat with carth the old republic I'd be very surprised if I could, but obviously we've got to try and give it a go, so we'll just see how that goes. Let's hide the option. Go for a shuffle. Second spin. Please be nice to me. I don't want two and a bad ones in a row. Must use a Rebel Fighters team. So basically Saw. I've got to take Saw off defense. That could be quite fun. I was using Saw on offense. I haven't used him on offense at all, really, since the Sharukron came out. So uh let's go over to the last wheel which is obviously the flex wheel to get our only challenge for that and that is going to be jabber is banned okay uh, the flex and offense wheel hasn't been too kind to us though i mean the defense wheel wasn't that kind to us either jml on defense isn't that great so it's gonna be a bit weird but Obviously, that will be the challenge I have to do for this round. So I do hope you enjoy it. Obviously, a like and comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that sub button down below. And let's jump straight into it. Okay, so into the attack phase. I am obviously going to be attacking a bit later than usual like before. Um, my opponent has done their attacks already. They've had a bit of a struggle against my walls. And I've just stopped at 1,005 score. Um, they struggled against my Dark Trooper Moff Gideon squad. And I've obviously stopped, left it there. Haven't attacked anything else in the back zone. Um, I put JMK on defense, obviously opting to take layer off defense to see how that would have done in the back zone. Then I will we'll actually just show you my defenses very quickly. So I'll show you what teams I did. Uh, Jedi is there, obviously JML as my defense challenge. Ray held for three battles. And then my last two Jedi squads for my challenges are in the north zone. I believe there are some holds up there, so I'll very quickly show you that. So yeah, holds on my Quagran Jin, uh, Cam and Jedi Anakin squad. And then uh, my other Jedi squad is there at the bottom with Keller and Beck with gas. And as you can see, I've unfortunately left Saw on defense. So I'm going to struggle for the Rebel Fighters fight for offense. That's going to be quite interesting. They haven't attacked fleets yet, but we're going to be starting off in the south zone, obviously trying to get through to the back wall so we can make a plan for the rest of the board. So very quickly show you what we have on both zones. Morgar and Imperial Super Commando, a Dash Hondo Vandor, Finn Finn and Zori, a Seer, Cal and Tara Malakos without any Omicrons, which is highly unusual to see a Relic 7 Malakos with no Omicrons. I'm guessing my opponent might be looking to apply them at a later date, but uh, Jabba, Krasanta and obviously Bruce to finish off that zone. And then in the north, we had obviously Ray and Lord Vader. Uh, Ray, I'm planning to use Bane again, see if that does well. Uh, LV with no more, probably just bo -Katan, that'd be really easy. Uh, and a Tuscan Raider squad with Aurora and a Tuscan Sharma is one of the rarely seen uh, Aurora lead over the Chieftain lead. So uh, that could be quite interesting to fight. Obviously a normal Quagun Jin squad and then an Iden team at the bottom. So 
let's go start off in the south and probably i'm gonna start off with the jabba first i think okay taking crew and what's with me obviously with Esoka. this is the data crown that the jabba team has obviously the doubt on the level three this is data crown i'm taking i'm just taking this level three bonus obviously for when what inevitably dies hopefully we can keep um crew alive throughout this whole battle was my idea try and get some more banners I just think I should have basic there. I keep doing that annoyingly. Should have basic first versus car, so then we could have cleared the taunt afterwards, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, might as well give that over to. Uh, we'll do a swipe here now. I don't know how much damage has been dealt to as a car at the moment. All right, there's the buff immunity. That's good. Should be able to clear the taunt now, which we can. I'm actually just going to basic here. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Okay, the top debuffs off what? Just basic again. That would kill Boosh. Now we can start to do some swipes on the stun target. Well, like we're going to lose my what in a minute to the thermals. That was no damage at all. Oh, luckily didn't go for what? That's good. We have full ultimate now. We definitely lost what though. There's no way he's surviving, unfortunately. But the extra offensive speed would be good for the other two to get the job done. Okay, go for a stun again. Oh wow, okay. 415k never mind uh basic i think now we'll go for a poke probably kill him there we go for a 64 banner win that's pretty good i'm happy with that just realized the seer doesn't have the omicron either uh this is the datacron they are taking for this fight though bit of tenacity crit avoidance crit damage pretty nice datacron actually and this is what i'm taking just very basic uh health damage on the debuffs so go for that there. Oh, just basics here, I guess. I mean, who's going to be the weakest? This is what I want to know. Uh, probably just better going off for Seer, I guess. Yikes. Okay, there's Sears Deathmark. Get the fear on everyone. Base block on cow, that's great. Probably should have waited for that AoE actually. Try and get some fear on Taran if we can. Good. Let's go after Cal again. Get that expose. Very nice. And we'll just drain Taran here. Get him out. And then possibly 57. Might get max banners here. Yeah, very nice. That blind is a bit annoying, but this is a day they have uh, nothing too good on this day crown. Actually, level three and level six isn't really optimal for what you'd be looking for, but they do have a lot of extra health, which is nice. And this is a day I'm taking just taking some doubt uh, just to slow the enemy team down. So, I guess we're just basic here. No point doing anything else with the blinds. Uh, probably should basic there. That was my own bad. Okay, well, Meryn's just stuck. <laughs> uh, let's go for a stun on Finn. Very nice. Blind, I didn't see that, but never mind. <laughs> Healing immunity is great. Let's go after Finn again. Okay, that blind is actually quite annoying. Uh, there should be 50. 
57 again, I'm hoping. Yes, very nice. 57 banners. Now for Sidious versus this Mulgar team. This is the Datacron I have. Uh, pretty nice Datacron, really. The anti revive on the level 6 is quite nice. If I take a different counter. Right, let's go for an AoE. <laughs> Goodbye, Maul. <laughs> goodbye, Gar. And probably goodbye, Imperial Super Commando as well. Yeah, alright, we get the idea. 59 banners. Alright, uh, this is the data coin that the team has, and this is what I'm taking. Hopefully, it's going to be enough to get a win, as the plan. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that sucks. Will Gar even assist? No, he won't. Uh, I think it's probably worth just going all out of Vandal here, to be honest. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, I love this team. It's so fun to use. Not great banners, but that is a lot of fun. I really enjoy using more with uh, the two Gar and Imperial Super Commando. Uh, just watching them actually blitz teams is hilarious. But 55 banners, and I'm very happy with that, actually. Not too bad. Well, that does mean actually we've got the back zone open. I forgot about that. It's a 552 at the moment. Let's see what that does for us uh, on the back wall. Ooh, okay. Dark Trooper Moth Gideon. Then we have a trench squad, Radus, Saw, Sorty. Oh my god. What the hell am I going to try Rebel Fighters and Karth against? I mean, my best opportunity is probably to try them against the Sorty team. Um, Because I don't think there's anywhere else, anywhere, anywhere else I'm actually going to be able to use them. Um, and I obviously can't afford drops because my opponent has dropped fights already. So I might actually try both Rebel Fighters and Old Republic against Sorty. I assume that both will fail. And then... Uh, We'll obviously clean up with something normal. <laughs> but yeah, I'll come, come back to this later with a bit of a plan to do. And we shall start with whichever team I decide to attack first. Okay, time for Bane versus Ray again. I did really enjoy using this counter last time. This is the Datacron the holder has. It doesn't have the 100% health one on level 6, which is quite nice. This is the Datacron I'm taking, which is my Banecron. So I'm going to say we want to start reducing health on Amelin Holdo would be the idea. I'm assuming that that still actually hits even with the foresight, maybe. I don't really know. But so much damage doesn't do. Decent amount of damage, but not enough, unfortunately. Uh, throw the AV again. Yikes. Okay, and I'm going to permakill Ben. Goodbye. It's Holdo. Why's that dodge? Why's Ray dodge that? Uh, might as well throw out the AB again. Uh, AB. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, is there anything we do for banners? I don't think it does anything for banners, does it? Uh, but no. Just basic. 454. Very nice. Alright, who should I kill first? Get rid of Raw Guard, I suppose. Oh, we can get rid of Thorn straight away. But we're so busted with this day, Akron. But I kind of feel like once the Datacron expires, she's kind of going to get the Afro treatment. Well, see, Afro got released. She had her Datacron immediately and was really good. But without her Datacron, she wasn't that great. I kind of feel like Bo's going to be exactly the same. Uh, but at least her Omicrons apply for both 3v3 and 5v5 on like Afras. Uh, do you know, I suppose? There we go, for 56. Ha 
<laughs> I have no hopes for this to actually win, but I just need to do these challenges. Uh, this is the Daycon they have. And this is my Bigs Crown. Unfortunately, I don't have Bigs at Relic 5, so I'm not actually getting the bonuses from that level 9, which is quite annoying because I actually thought we might be able to do this with that uh, part of the Datacron, but is what it is. Would it be nice if I could actually do some damage? I don't really want to... Let's hit BB-8 while we can, I suppose. Nice. Can't stop, stop him going around this... Oh, okay, never mind. Yikes, okay. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> so dumb. This is what I get for not taking Saw off defense. Oh, well. Screw you then. Come on, if I can at least kill one of them. I was thinking about taking my Mothma with Kara and Kyle, but I don't think that's actually counting because uh, my Mothma isn't a rebel fighter. So... Yeah, we'll decide to play out and I'll go in with Old Republic after this. <laughs> I know this isn't going to go very well either, but we just need to get our challenges out of the way and I know I can afford to do this. So I'm just doing it to get the uh, challenges done. This is Daycon I'm taking. Uh, offense to speed if someone dies. Extra offense helps still health. It'll help me keep alive for a bit longer. At least that was the idea. But looking at how cars take an absolute beating at the moment, I don't think that's going to last very long. No uh, armor shred, unfortunately. I mean, the assists are pretty nice, but... The foresight's screwing me over. Um, I need a daze to land as well from mission. Okay, well, that's bad timing. <laughs> uh oh. Zoom. Hey, Armour Shred, finally! Yikes. Oh my god, could you just stop getting Foresight for like two seconds? I... Oh my god, we actually killed someone! Right, I'm going straight for BBA again because it's uh, his illuminated destiny that keeps causing me trouble. <laughs> That's just about literally what I was about to say. Come on! Oh, why do that? Foresight. I mean, I guess that's. Oh, okay. One's dead. Come on, mission. You got this. I mean, I don't think we're going to kill Sorty on our own, but... I mean, at least this is clean up of all with Wampa. But... Done our challenges.
Yeah, we don't get free soul there's no way. So close. Alright, gonna put this on full auto and uh we shall see how this goes. I'll probably skip to where before the killing blow, because this basically is gonna be ramping up to enough damage to actually kill Salty, so we'll see you when that actually happens. A few minutes later. Are you kidding me? It literally came down to the last five seconds. What? <laughs> Let's have a go at LV versus Dark Dream of Gideon. This is a Daquan. I have a very good Daquan. I'm actually going to show you these very quickly so you need to pause on the screen if you want to have a look at the Daquans. Uh, because I feel like we might need all the time we can get to defeat a Relic 9 um, Dark Dream of Gideon. Well, I literally just tickled him. Okay, well, goodbye to Piet, I guess. Yikes, that is a lot of damage. How are you going up to six stacks? Probably the worst timing ever. Uh, I'm actually going to keep him off at a low health. Hopefully, we can get to full ultimates and kill him while we've got our ultimate ability. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what the hell was that? Please kill Moth. Okay, good. Right. Oh, the stun will take a stack away at least. Okay, good. All right, let's get buff immunity on Moth and a stun. Fantastic. Let's kill Scout, maybe. Was I supposed to take this first over LV? I mean, I probably shouldn't have trusted LV. That's my own bad, really. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have not have trusted LV to do the job and just taken Leia in the first place. That was my own bad. I thought LV would have been able to cope with it, but obviously not. Are you kidding me? It was that easy with Leia. Why is not Leia not peering more on .gg? Okay, boss Mando and Grief versus this Braddus team. Uh, this is the day when the Radis team has. Obviously, it's very good for me to use Boss here because I can actually target the weakest. There's no tank getting in the way like K2 or uh, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder. And I'm just taking a Mando Cron uh, with but Mando getting an extra turn if he happens to drop below 100% health. But uh, let's go straight after you. We get a cleanse, good. Now contract, hopefully we do get torn up again. On a cleanse, I should go for Cassian. Now we can pop Radus. Goodbye to him. Go after Jin. 
doesn't really matter about the spelling that buff anymore. Uh, I'm going after Jin because she's the only one with an AoE that could pop all the exposes. Well, an AoE that does damage at least. Mm, yeah, get rid of her. Not scared of Cassian. We should hopefully get 57 banners from this. Cleanse, done. And goodbye for 57 banners. Very nice. Prayer versus Saw. This is the Datacron they have. Very good Datacron for Shroot, of course. And this is what I'm taking. Just like some doubt would be quite helpful. So that's what I opted for. Go for Drain first. Only one cooldown increase. That's a bit annoying, but. Fine, I guess. Do a basic. Isolate base. Where's that stealth coming from? I swear, why is he getting stealthed? Must be missing something somewhere. Uh, he'll shoot and he's gone. Ah. Uh, really? There we go. Four. 57. Not using Geo, so I'm going for... Uh, well, using their Daycon, I'll show that in a minute. Uh, this is a Daycon that the Trench team has. And this is what I'm taking my Geocron, like I mentioned. Extra health and offense is all I wanted, really. Hopefully no one should die. So let's throw that out, get the staggers. And then we can hit those staggers. Done on Dooku, which is great. Let's go after Admiral Trench. More stuns, please. What how much this AOE will do? Offense up. I reckon we might one-shot them all, but obviously you're going to have to kill Newt again. Oh, well, I'm really disappointed now. <laughs> Come on! Dark only had one job. 57 matters again. Just realised I've made a mistake with the date when I've taken this round. I was planning on taking Rallus versus... Uh, the Iden team. <laughs> I've just taken my Jin Con, which I was, I was going to take with that. So, <laughs> uh, have to maybe try something a bit different out against that. But uh, throw the rocks. Finish maybe. Yeah. Very nice. Fifty-seven. I really hope this works, otherwise I'm going to majorly regret taking uh, my Jinkron versus the Tuscan Sister Daycon. They have very nice Daycon. Nice extra potency as well. This is Daycon I'm taking. <laughs> really basic. So, it is exposes on death. This should kill him. Perma death, obviously, because of the Spark of Rebellion. Buff. Okay. Gonna have to revive Cassian by the looks of things. <laughs> uh, I can't hit Iden, unfortunately. Try and move Temi to good. Uh, this, I guess. A bit annoying. Right, let's go for AV. Please kill, sure. Very good. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Please don't kill Iden. 
I was hoping we might be able to get a heal off Aradis, but never mind. 50 hard banners, that's still pretty good. Uh, Kistra and I was a bit of an idiot and took uh, the wrong day to with Malakos. Just taking a full C squad here. Uh, versus Quagra Jin, just because I want to use Malgus, so he's on the bench, and I would like to actually use him, which would be good. Uh, right, let's go into Merciless Massacre. Bradley, we on Quagra Jin. Then we can basic the other two, get ability blocks. Wow, okay, we did a lot more though. Okay. Rose over you, kill you, basic. Okay, so you only got one go, but 57 banners, and that does mean we can move on to fleet, which is the last thing we've got to do now in order to get a full clear. And we're standing in our way. Negotiator, guessing Leviathan's there as well, of course, and a Radus team. So, um, yeah, starting off with... Oh, it's only a five-star Leviathan. Okay, we'll just start off with a uh, Chimera counter versus that. Okay. All uh, right, so get full sight. And then we can base it because there's no Sith Spider. Then we will call in Tide Defender and go for a stun. Very nice. Then we'll sh get rid of all their buffs. And give us some formation stacks. Nine stacks, that's good. Uh, I will hit Sith Marauder, and then we'll go for a basic on Sith Trooper here. Very nice, 200k. And then... Go for a heal. Here comes the ability to block on Scythe, I'm guessing. Oh, I didn't go for Scythe this time. Look at all those dodges. Right, bring in Interceptor, get rid of all those buffs. Hopefully land some buff immunity. We do, that's great. Let's go for Sith Assassin then. Go for a big hit. Now 59k wasn't a whole lot. Uh, we'll go for a heal. Heal Sith Assassin. Then... Might as well throw an AV, I suppose. Kind of sucks. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, might as well get rid of Marauder. Don't know why I did that. Should have done a basic. There we go. For 69, a banner win. I was not happy we lost this last time because of uh, Plo. So opting to go for a rematch, kind of. We'll see no plows here, but yeah, can I have can I have a go? Can I have a go? Well, I'm a, what I understand. Buff immunity, please. Of course not. This is gonna suck. Come on, slave one. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe this isn't going to work again. Oh. I don't know what's happened. I was fighting this team fine with Executor, and now I can't beat it to save my life with it, even with the different lineups. For some reason, they went all went before my executor even got to do an AWE so I could actually go after Anakin straight away. Other times, it's been completely fine. So I have no idea why... Whether it's because Y-Wing wasn't actually in the other lineups. I'm trying to think now. Hmm. Hello. 
let us know what is out. Let's get rid of the capital ship to get stuff. Oh, oh, thank you, whatever it does. Oh, that guy is a sniper at least. One heavy hit the gun. Oh, I see him. Hansi! We will actually get to a second ult. <laughs> it's not that Hansi won't die. Like, he might die. Maybe Hansi will die. He's dying. We five seconds. Cancel any uh, ultimate again. Likes. I think it's a full ultimate, basically. Oh, I'll kill him, I suppose, slightly. Oh, that's fair. Uh, I actually hit about the right ship. Can we get out seconds? I very much doubt it. No one, the animations are so blimmin' long. Oh, I wouldn't have any turns we're off ultimate, that's really annoying. Okay, next time I'm not taking Executor versus Negoshi. I just thought last time it was a one-off that I lost, but I don't know what's going on with that fleet at the moment, and I'm sick of losing Executor versus it. It just really annoyed me. Uh, so probably going to take profanity against that going forwards. And then whatever fleet is the other one, I'll also use Executor versus that. Oh my god! Speed up the animations, please! Okay, 75, and I've just got the other fleet to clean up. Kit, please. Still not enough to kill him. Okay, there we go. 49 banners, and I'm going to guess I got 1990 something because I dropped way too many fights. I mean, probably even less than 1980, I reckon. Oh, okay. We actually did better than I thought I was going to do. But yeah, um, I'm going to take that as a win. I don't think my opponent's actually going to do any more attacks because they've been on this score for quite a while. Um, I'm just guessing they don't have anything to beat my Dark Troop Moth Gideon. So, yeah, I'll obviously, if anything changes, I will put uh, the updated score in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, Ugh. I still can't believe that Executor versus Negotiator. That's the one that's annoying me the most. LV was against Dark Troop Moth Gideon's kind of expected because obviously I wasn't taking more. Um, wasn't really a proper LV squad. I just wanted to see if it would work, but obviously, um, Dark Trooper said no to that, and uh, we got absolutely smashed. And then, obviously, the other losses were from me having to do my offense challenges from the wheel, which uh, did not go very well. <laughs> I mean, Karth, Karth with Mission and uh, Zalba actually kind of surprised me. I mean, if it wasn't for Sortie just standing there on her own, 
uh, we might have actually been okay against like a similar sort of level team use Karth again um but obviously rebel fighters was my fault with not taking sword off defense so uh considering he even got one shot on my wall but yeah that is it obviously thank you very much for watching and i shall catch you in the next one